This movie is a presentation of EMA's Enterprise Link product. The Enterprise Link provides synchronization between the Component Information System, CIS, and corporate data stored in the external ERP and PLM systems. The Enterprise Link delivers corporate business information at the engineer's desktop. Engineers can design with corporate approved parts and they can prevent unnecessary new part introduction and associated administrative burden. Automated engineering bombs are ready for purchasing or import to the enterprise PLM or ERP systems. With no enterprise link, the user doesn't see complete corporate data in CIS and incomplete bills and materials are generated. By adding the corporate information via enterprise link, we now see the populated data fields in CIS and more robust information in the bombs generated from CIS. With solutions like CIP to automatically find and populate your local CIS database with accurate part data from major distributors, Silicon Expert to monitor your AVL for any obsolescence and part change notifications, and the Enterprise Link product to seamlessly interface with your corporate system. EMA has a time-tested end-to-end solution. This integrated and widely used environment provides tremendous value add to our Cadence and ORCAD customer base and is viewed as a huge differentiator from the competition. Enterprise Link can display ERP or any corporate data fields of interest in the CIS database. This product has an easy to use and configurable user interface that can be initiated using a scheduler available in the Windows platform. With the Enterprise Link, many benefits are available, like integrating the ERP and PLM systems by mirroring corporate data into the engineering environment. Also, enhanced engineering decisions by accessing corporate part data, like part cost, availability, and lead time in the engineering design environment. Cost savings through part consolidation opportunities by eliminating unnecessary new part introductions and minimizing administrative overhead like approvals by streamlining the part introduction process. We can also eliminate manual bomb creations and errors. And finally, Enterprise Link takes data from the underlying enterprise database in a read-only mode and integrates it into the corporate part library delivered via the CIS and CIP solution. Next, we'll look at a sample Enterprise Link new part process flow. Let's say, for example, a new part is required. If the part exists in CIS, then simply the user would place the part on the design. If not, the user uses CIP or CIS to create a temporary part. The part is added to the schematic. The admin or ECAD librarian is notified automatically with email of a new CIS part. If the part exists in the corporate system, then the librarian modifies the temporary part with the real corporate part number in CIP, and the user is notified. If not, the part is created in the corporate system, and the associate corporate part number is added to CIP's corporate part number field. The Enterprise Link updates and automatically assigns the temporary part with a real corporate part number. The Enterprise Link can be either invoked manually or on a scheduler. The user then tracks the temporary part to the corporate part updated via the Part Manager in CIS. This concludes the new part introduction process. First, let's look at a temporary part in CIS that was created by a user in CIP. Here the user has added field data manually or via the distributor link. Fields like value, PCB footprint, schematic part. Other fields being controlled by the corporate enterprise system might be revision, life cycle, quantity on hand, quantity on order, and engineering cost. And even manufacturing data fields. Here, no manufacturing parts were added initially. 
Once the temporary database part is placed, the CIS part manager can track the enterprise data changes that occur, including the state between temporary and formal release. To demonstrate data provided by the enterprise system, we will be using a CSV ASCII text file that was generated via the corporate system. Here you can see corporate data like engineering cost, quantity on hand, and on order, plus multiple manufacturing part numbers. For some of the parts, we will use this data to populate data to the CIS database using the Enterprise Link product. During the transition from TemPart to formal part, the ECAD librarian can easily access CIP and simply associate the corporate part number in the CIP formal part number field. This will facilitate the automated update capabilities in the Enterprise Link. The Enterprise Link user interface is easily configured and operated. The utility, once invoked, can analyze the data and create a log prior to any actual database changes. The log shows a report of any data added, changed, or rejected. Here we can see how a CIS temporary part will be converted to a real corporate part number. Also we can see any rejected parts. The Add Only button will only add new parts and new manufacturers. Parts that already exist will remain untouched. The Update button will perform the same comparison as Analyze and the database will be updated. No deletions will be made by the Enterprise Link. Once the Enterprise Link runs either manually or through the scheduler, the CIS database gets updated. Here you can see how many parts are added, updated, or converted. Next, we will examine the updated temporary part in CIS. From the part manager, the temporary part can be updated to the new corporate part number. Also, fields like quantity on hand and quantity on order and even engineering cost are now updated to the CIS part. Here we can see the new approved CIS part. The CIS Explorer now reveals the new part number plus the added corporate data. Even the relational multiple manufacturer part numbers have been added and now associated with the part. In this section, we will look at the configuration and setup of the Enterprise Link. We will discuss supported data formats and setup of the utility, which includes selecting the sync source, key field selection, syncing options, email configuration, component and manufacturing field mappings. Enterprise Link will support the following file formats for import. An ASCII CSV file, ODBC data sources that include Text Delimited, Microsoft Access, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft SQL Server databases. During the installation, sample files of these formats are provided. Enterprise Link's easy and intuitive interface allows the administrator the ability to quickly configure the integration. After we select Configure, we can then select the source such as a CSV file as we used during the demonstration, or a data source. Next, we can select our CIP data source connection and test for a successful connection. The next setting is to configure the key fields that associate the part number, CIS table name, and manufacturer and part number field names. Syncing options allow more optional capabilities like assigning a formal part number field for temporary part automation. Email notifications can be set up to be sent after each update has been made. Component field mappings for each table are manually configured or auto-mapped. This mapping instructs the enterprise link to the corresponding CIP field to be updated. Table mappings are also addressed in this window.
Finally, the manufacturer fields are mapped to the manufacturer data similar to the process for the components. Configuration is now complete. This concludes our presentation.